The big disruption that's coming is to power utilities. This is no longer about cars. You've got your finger in so many different advanced technologies. Are you sincerely trying to save the world? I, well, I'm trying to do good things, yeah. He built a great car company and somewhere along the way, you know, about five or six years ago, what I thought he was building was an energy company and that eventually people would realize that climate change actually mattered. And it's taken five or six years for everybody to realize the same thing. And he's being rewarded. You know, the, the world's richest person should be somebody that's that's fixing and fighting climate change. The reality is that Tesla is a distributed energy business, right? They are figuring out how to harness energy, how to store it, and then how to use it in a way to, to allow humans to be productive. This little product we call the Tesla Powerwall. You can actually go, if you want, completely off grid. You can take your solar panels, charge the battery packs, and that's all you use. Cars are a manifestation, but you know, solar panels are as well. Power walls are as well. This is no longer about cars. That that's the first wave of growth. And I think people are pricing in an evisceration of traditional autos and an enormous shift to EVs of which Tesla will get the disproportionate share. So now what is the bet? If you ask me as an investor who loves that company, it was in page four or five of their quarterly earnings release where they talk about the energy business. And they said a couple of interesting things. The first is that it was profitable. And the second is that they're also producing software now that allows effectively anybody to become a distributed utility. Now think of that for a second. You are talking about one of the most predictable, reasonable businesses that have raised hundreds of billions and trillions of dollars of debt. And what Tesla is going to do with their battery packs and their software is all of a sudden allow each of us to be in the energy business as well. What, what's really needed to transition the world to sustainable energy? Is this actually possible? It's not impossible. It is, it is really something that, that we, we can do. Um, Again, people will get angry. They will not understand. They will try to push back and they will be wrong. And what's going to happen is that this stock is now going to represent the totality around decarbonization and sustainability. So now I underwrite this company as a bet towards decarbonization, towards deregulated energy, and towards the ability for all of us to become our little micro utilities. That's the future we, we could have, where the curve slowly rolls over and goes to zero. No incremental CO2. I'm telling you right now, the big disruption that's coming is to power utilities. There are trillions of dollars sitting inside the energy generation infrastructure of the world that is going to go upside down. And when that goes pear-shaped, Tesla will double and triple again. This is a chart of growth, people. Tesla has growth in spades. Of course, investors will pay up for it. Tesla shares doing what they usually do. They're on the rise this morning. And I think, you know, I tweeted this a, a while ago that I thought the world's first trillionaire would be a person fighting climate change. It very well could be Elon, but if it's not him, it'll be somebody like him. But it'll be because of this. Delivering clean energy, allowing the world to be sustainable is an incredibly um, important thing that will be rewarded by markets and individuals. I don't understand why people are so focused on selling things that work. Let's just, you know, uh, I'll make up a number. Let's just say I owned a billion dollars of Tesla stock. If I sold it, now I have a billion dollar problem. What do I do with that money? What about if it was 100 million? What about if it was just 10,000? 10 billion, it doesn't matter what the number is. The point is that when things are working, you're paid to stay with people that know what they're doing. And this is a guy who has consistently been one of the most important entrepreneurs in the world. And so why bet against him? It's the same thing with Bezos. Why bet against him? When the music's on, you gotta dance. And so these guys are dancing. They are in rhythm, they're in flow. Let them do their thing, get behind them. Don't sell a share, just let them create value. Get behind these people who have incredibly strong character, who know what they're doing, who aren't going to bend to short-term profits, and who are just going to drive the train for 10 or 20 years and make the world a better place.